guys, welcome to Keeping It Simple Crafts. I hope everyone is doing good. Today I'm going to show you how I made this fun summer wreath using the bubble method. If you like this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment, share this video, and if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, I would love to have you as a subscriber. I am also on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Keeping It Simple Crafts. For this wreath, you're going to need one Dollar Tree 14 inch wreath ring, a relaxed shell sign from Dollar Tree, some cute little sailboat embellishments from Dollar Tree, some pipe cleaners, and some 21 inch fabric mesh, and I ordered it online at Craft Outlet. You're going to gather it together, go to a crossbar on your wreath ring, and this wreath ring came from Dollar Tree, take a zip tie or a pipe cleaner, and secure your mesh to your frame. This mesh is a fabric mesh. It is 21 inches by 10 yards and Craft Outlet has a lot of different colors in this mesh. So once you have your mesh secured, you're going to want to take your pipe cleaners and cut them in half. Next, you're going to move down about eight inches, gather your mesh together, Pinch it in your hand, and we're only going to be using the two middle bars on your wreath ring. So take your mesh, make a bubble, and you're going to take a pipe cleaner and secure your bubble to those center two wires on your wreath form. Go to the back, give the pipe cleaner a few twists, and fold it down. So we're doing the bubble method, and you're making seven or eight inch bubbles. Move your hand down about eight inches, gather your mesh together. We're only using the two middle wires. Push your mesh forward where it makes a bubble. Take your pipe cleaner, wrap it around your mesh in those two middle wires. Go to the back of your wreath form and give your pipe cleaners a few twists and fold them down. And you're just going to repeat the same process all the way around your wreath ring. It is very important to make your bubbles all the same size. So eight inch bubbles all the way around. So move your hand down eight inches, gather your mesh together, take a pipe cleaner that you cut in half, wrap it around your mesh and those two middle wires, go to the back, give the pipe cleaners a few twists and fold them down. So eight inch bubbles. Now on your wreath, it has six sections. So in each section, you're going to want to make five bubbles, but on the last section, you will only be able to make four or you will run out of mesh. And here I'm showing you that I made five bubbles in each section. And on the last section, you will just be able to make four bubbles, but that's okay. It will look great. When you're making your bubbles, try to kind of take the outer edges and kind of make them go inward. If that makes sense, kind of fold the outer edges inward when you're making your bubbles. Also, try to not let your mesh get twisted up. Try to make sure your mesh is flat when you're making your eight inch bubbles. So just slide your hand down it, rolling your outer edges inward, gather your mesh together, making a bubble, and then secure it with a pipe cleaner to your wreath form.
this is all of the mesh that I had left. So I only could make four bubbles in the last section. So I'm just taking the end and I'm going to zip tie it to the frame and then I'm going to push the end to the back and that way it's secured to the back and then I'm going to take some pipe cleaners and I'm just going to twist around the end that way it doesn't flip out or fall forward and it's secure to the back. After you have your wreath made then you're going to want to kind of fluff your bubbles make sure all of them are nice and fluffy. You can make this wreath for any season or holiday. You can choose whatever kind of mesh and color mesh that you would like and signs and ribbons and all that kind of fun stuff. I am just making mine for summer. And here I've got the end threaded through to the back and then I'm just going to use some of my pipe cleaners to secure it to the back. Also make sure the end where you started your wreath that you push it through to the back too and secure that end. I'm tying a bow so I let out a tail, make a loop, keeping it pinched tightly in my left hand, going to the other side, going to make another loop about the same size, and I'm making about four inch loops, going back to the other side, making another loop, check to make sure they're about the same size, going back to the other side, making another loop. Now I'm going to let out a tail, then I'm going to take my second color of ribbon, and I'm going to add it on top. Both colors do have wire, so I'm letting out a tail and I am going to place it on top of my 2.5 inch width ribbon with wire and this one's 1 1.5 inch width and this time I'm not going to be making quite a 4 inch loop I'm only going to make a 3 inch loop so I'm going to put two on the left and two on the right and this makes a pretty bow for this size wreath I hot glued some pipe cleaners to the back of the seashell sign. Now I'm just taking the pipe cleaners, finding a spot between the bubbles, threading the pipe cleaner through the wreath ring. Then I'm going to go to the back and secure the pipe cleaners to the metal wreath form or wreath ring. Just wrap the pipe cleaners around the wreath ring. I did have to have to move my sign up a little higher. It was just down too low. So the two holes that were in the seashell sign at the top, um, I did use those holes to add some wire and just pull it up higher on my wreath form or wreath. Next, I'm taking some floral wire, threading it underneath the zip tie, and that way I can easily attach the bow to the wreath. So I'm going to the top center of my wreath and I'm going to take the wires and I am just going to thread them through the mesh, through the wreath form, go to the back, give the wires a few twists, cut them off short and fold them down. And now I'm hot gluing on some little sailboats that my son spray painted for me outside. Just be very careful when you're using your hot glue and you'll have to hold them just a little while until the glue has time to dry a little bit. And then just make sure your bow, that your loops are fluffed and your tails are going the right direction 
and that your bubbles are all nice and fluffy. And here it is, guys. You'll have to let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did. Leave me a comment, and if you have not subscribed, I would love to have you as a subscriber.